Let's explore the topic of bee torpor caused by low temperatures and discuss the process of reviving bees. Cold torpor is a temporary suppression of the bee's motor activity due to low temperatures. Bees in a state of torpor appear to be dead. Now, let's move on to a detailed discussion. Bees exposed to temperatures that induce cold torpor counteract it by increasing motor activity. They move their wings, try to find a heat source, or insulate themselves by crawling into old comb or materials like foam. The time required to restore motor activity depends on the duration of the cooling period. For example, bees that remained in torpor at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius for 2 minutes, can recover at 72 degrees Fahrenheit, 22 degrees Celsius, in approximately the same amount of time. If the cooling period extends to 2 hours, bees need about 15 minutes to recover, while recovery from 12 hours of torpor takes around 38 minutes. The speed of recovery from torpor is influenced by the amount of carbohydrate feed in the bee's honey stomach. Bees with empty honey stomachs recover twice as fast as those that had unlimited access to food before cooling. Despite the link between recovery speed and honey stomach fullness, bees cannot use the honey during cold torpor. In this state, they survive on carbohydrates stored in their hemolymph. What is the maximum duration of bee survival in cold torpor? This primarily depends on the temperature. As the temperature drops, the lifespan of bees in torpor decreases. At 50 degrees Fahrenheit plus 10 degrees Celsius, 50 to 83 hours. At 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius, 48 to 62 hours. At 23 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 5 degrees Celsius, 3 to 6.3 hours. At 14 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 10 degrees Celsius, 0 0.6 to 1.3 hours. However, not all bees can withstand sub-freezing temperatures for these durations. In conclusion, cold torpor allows bees to survive short-term cooling while preserving their energy reserves in the honey stomach. This enables bees that ended up in small numbers in outer comb spaces to survive during sudden, brief drops in external temperature. Let's check in practice how to revive frozen bees. We will select some bees from one bee family. These insects left the main club for various reasons. The most common are a temporary increase in ambient temperature, or intestinal overflow with feces which causes individual bees to leave the club on their own, as well as a reaction to external stimuli such as mice or birds. At the beginning of the experiment, we will select 10 or more of these bees and try to revive them after cooling. This is what the selected bees look like. They are immobilized and appear to be dead. To revive them, we will prepare a syrup by mixing sugar and water in a one-to-one -one ratio. Sprinkle the bees with warm syrup so that the drops fall on their bodies and move them to a room with a temperature of 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Cover the box with insects so that the revived bees do not fly out. As you can see, after five hours in a warm room, some of the bees have revived. The revived bees need to be returned to the club with the rest of the family, because without a queen and the support of other individuals, they will not survive even if they are fed with honey. Such bees will die within a day, even if there are a dozen of them. This method can be useful for revitalizing bee colonies that have frozen in winter. In particular, it can be used to warm up frozen spare queens in nuclei, or to restore families that have lost a significant number of bees, leaving only the queen and a small number of workers in the cold season.